Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What's great about Redstone for me is that even after hundreds or thousands of hours, there's still new things to discover. Now admittedly, after around 20,000 hours of playing this game, those moments get quite rare for me, but the other day I had one of those again. So I needed a Hopper Minecart item filter again, something I didn't really need for the last couple years. And I finally understood one of the issues that always has been bugging me. Alright, but let's start from the beginning. What is a Hopper Minecart item filter? It's probably best to quickly explain the normal Hopper item filter and then explain how you could transform it into a Hopper Minecart item filter. Right, so you have your top Hopper, they have the item assigned you want to filter out, out of the either inventory or item stream from above. So we want to filter out buckets and we got some filler items. So if we have buckets in this top chest, the Hopper can take those out because the slot is open. And then of course, if we wouldn't have another hopper below, then the first slot would fill up entirely and then your filter would start breaking. So we need an another hopper below. They would take out the buckets out of this hopper. But if this hopper would take out items all the time, then of course it would deplete you know, all the buckets here. So that's why we have this comparator system in the back. If we uh, get to a certain threshold, this torch would turn on. So in case we have four buckets in here, the signal strength jumps from two to one, and then this redstone torch lights up again. So this is the normal item filter, probably have seen it. Now we can basically also adjust it to work with hopper minecarts. The advantage of hopper minecarts is they're eight times faster than a normal hopper. Hopper can only take out an item every eight stick out of an inventory. Hopper minecart can do that every tick. So we can just replace the components the item filter, so this hopper here, where we have the item selected to be filtered, we can just replace it with a hopper minecart that is sitting on one of those detector rails. So one of those. And then we just have a comparator here on the side that can read out the fill level of the hopper minecart. And then the bottom hopper that is locked by a torch can be easily replaced by a activator rail. So if an activator rail is powered, the hopper minecart is not able to pick out items from an inventory above or for example a water stream from above. So one of the problems you would have if you want to build a hopper minecart filter instead of a hopper filter is that you can't place rails on top of each other. So you would need to put a hopper minecart here and then one directly above, but this is not possible. What you can do instead is to align the hopper minecart on top of two blocks. So for example you could push this minecart over against the honey block which is not a full block and then place the activator rail with the minecart on top like this and then minecart is able to pick out items from on top. Okay, so here we got the final version. This is a working hopper minecart filter. You can put glass blocks in here and the minecart would take out only those. But now I actually want to explain the problem I always had for years and finally understood. So I needed a system that would take out empty buckets out of a dispenser. So you dispense powder snow, now we got the empty bucket in there. If you would trigger this dispenser again, if you may push the powder snow away, now there is a chance that it would actually select the empty bucket and just spit it out. So we need to take out the bucket immediately and I needed a system that would do it every four ticks. So a hopper filter below the dispenser is not really an option because it's too slow. We need to double the speed. That's why I needed a hopper minecart filter. All right, so here I already got the buckets in there. Got it assigned. This was the system. Just place a powder snow bucket, filter out the item, then push the powder snow immediately away. But here is the problem. So once we hit the threshold of 11 buckets, for some reason, the minecart just kept taking out a lot more items than expected. So now, yeah, the complete first row got depleted and complete chaos here at the bottom. We got powder snow in the empty buckets chest and of course all the filter items. The first thing I tried to do to fix this was to adjust the system. So only if we actually have the maximum one of bu buckets, so 16 in there, it should enable the hopper minecart below to take out items. So a system like this, but we still took out way too many items. And then I actually started counting. So we took out the 16 items out of this first slot, then those three and one. So 20 in total. 
when I realized it was 20 items, I immediately knew what the problem was. So if you have a hopper minecart sitting on a detector rail and you remove the hopper minecart, then this is on for a little bit longer. And kind of depends when you actually take it away. It's kind of similar to a pressure plate. You step off it, it stays powered for a little bit longer. And it's exactly 20 ticks of one second. So I realized that the comparator doesn't get proper updates from the detector rail. That is, that is a problem. It doesn't update the information as soon as something changes. So if you put it in here, 16 again, this torch yeah, gets powered way later. So if you look at the redstone, it should be a delay of four ticks only. So you would expect that at most it would take out four more items, but it was actually 20. Now we just need to update this comparator more often in order to fix the issue. Now if I would put a observer clock here on the side, problem is already fixed as you can see. So it wouldn't take out as many items anymore. Now if you take issue with an observer clock running all the time, although it hardly causes any lag, you can also make a system like this one here. So as soon as the signal strength changes here, the observer would pick it up and send an update to the comparator. So this would also work. But there's an even better solution. It's basically a perfect solution. There's also a way you can update the comparator every single tick. And that's something that Tuno showed me a while ago. So if you have a hopper here and a chest above, and you fill in all the slots of the hopper, an item, and then put a different item in the chest above, the comparator will be updated every single tick. So you can also see the difference here. We have this four tick delay now, comparator and redstone torch. So we take out exactly four items and then yeah, redstone changes again. Basically the perfect solution. One downside there is, uh, this is quite laggy. This is basically one of those killer hopper constellations, but it can also get rid of the issue by um, yeah, also depowering hopper if you don't need it so then the hopper wouldn't cause any lag and that's what i did over here at the powder snow version so once we have 11 buckets in there this threads and torch would also turn off a quick moment so the chest would start sending updates again to the comparator all right then maybe one more note why is the minecart aligned against a wizard skeleton skull uh, you could also use the emesis but instead so of course you can't have the detector rail directly under the dispenser because then it would power the dispenser itself. But if you push the minecart over, um, it has to be at least half a block. That's why I use the wizard skeleton skull. If you would try to do it against an iron bar, then the majority of the minecart is still on top of this block and then you couldn't take the items out of this dispenser. So it has to be something uh, like the wizard skeleton skull or an emesis but so just a little bit more. The you know, minecart slides off the rail actually like this. Then you can, yeah, the minecart can take out the items out of the dispenser. All right, now you can also turn the system on. As you can see, you always have powder snow buckets in a dispenser. So this would be way too fast for a normal hopper to handle. Of course, there are also other applications for the advanced hopper minecart filter with the comparator updater. So you could make a fast item filter, an eight times hopper speed item filter by positioning minecarts in a way that it would distribute all the items to eight hoppers. So an advantage of the advanced system would be that you can have only two items here in the first item slot, which would be quite helpful because then you can almost pick up an entire stack without the system breaking. You can see here. Oh, I have to do it again. <laughs> we almost picked up the entire stack here. There's only two left, so this is quite convenient. The system wouldn't break. Of course, in most cases, you can just build multiple normal hopper item filters or even double speed hopper item filters instead. But in case you really need the full sorting power concentrated on a single block or hopper minecart, then this might just be what you need. 
So despite Hopper Minecraft filters not being used very often, haven't used them really for years. Hope this video was useful for you. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.